uh, City Council meeting for September 26, 2016. Please join me in saluting the flag. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilor Beauregard. Yes, Mr. President, at this time, I'd uh, like to present a citation, if that would be... Yeah, why don't you step you. forward to the rostrum? Uh, this citation is uh, presented to uh, Bill Hogan, and I'd like to ask him to come and join me at the podium. Uh, be it known that the Broughton City Council hereby extends its congratulations to William, Bill Hogan, in recognition of the celebration of the 50th anniversary of the Cosgrove Pool. And be it further known that the City Council extends best wishes for continued success, that this citation be duly signed by the President of the Council and attested to and a copy there of transmitted by the Clerk of the Council. I'm waiting for Bill Hogan here to, yeah, <laughs> join us in. Thank you. Here you go. Well, thank you. At this time, I'd like to thank Council Beauregard, who uh, called me about an hour ago because they forgot about it. And uh, <laughs> so I'm glad somebody's on top of it. Um, swimming and um, history was the two things that drove this, um, this event here. That was the 50th anniversary of the pool opening, and it was dedicated to um, Lawrence Cosgrove, who was the first casualty during World War II. Um, his, his, uh, actually, his dedication would be two years from now, his 50th anniversary, but that's what drove it. Um, my, la my love of history, Brockton history, and I was an athlete at one time. I may not look like it, and I was a swimmer. So it worked out well for, uh, for Brockton, the east side. And um, m most of you counselors were there, I believe. I, I, I thank you for coming and attending and have a good time. It was a day in the park. That's, that's about what it was. Um, this week, we have another event here at school in Main Street. We call it Downtown Fest Brockton. And I'd like to invite you all to come down if it doesn't rain this Saturday. Thank you. Thank you, you. Thank you Mr. Hogan. <laughs> Thank you for all you do. <laughs> Item number one. Acceptance of the minutes of the August 22nd, 2016 City Council meeting. Accepted and placed on file. President. Councilor Sullivan. I'd like to take uh, agenda item two and three collectively. I'd also like to act on the suspension of the rules tonight. Take a final vote tonight. Second. second. Motion made and seconded to act collectively on items two and three and to act on them this evening under suspension of the rules. All those in favor? All those opposed? Uh, so moved. Uh, Mr. Clerk, please read items two and three. Appointment of Chris O'Reilly to the rank of fire lieutenant within the Brockton Fire Department. Appointment of Joseph de Pasquale to the rank of fire captain within the Brockton Fire Department. Question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will clerk please call the roll? Azar. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Council Sullivan. Mr. President, motion for reconsideration hopes it does not prevail. Second. Second. Okay. Motion made and seconded for reconsideration hopes it does not prevail. All those in favor of reconsideration? All those opposed? Reconsideration fails. Uh, and Captain De Pasquale, please step forward to, for the crowd. <laughs> I, before we take a recess, I just want to say it gives me great personal pleasure. I think most of you know that Chris O'Reilly is the son of former. Uh, Chief of Staff Mark O'Reilly, great Brocktonian, and we're happy to see his whole family here tonight. And good luck to uh, Mr. De Pasquale and Lieutenant O'Reilly. And uh, in that case, we'll take a two-minute recess.
We're back in session. Uh, Madam Clerk, item number four. Appointment of Tremeda M. Martin of 32 Martin Street, Brockton, to the Brockton Cultural Council for a six-year term. Refer to finance. Appointment of Lashika Hamilton of 52 Appleton Street, Brockton, to the Brockton Cultural Council for a six-year term. Refer to finance. Appointment of New Breteau of 359 Hilberg Ave uh, to the Brockton Cultural Council for a six-year term. Refer to finance. A seven. Appointment of Jeffrey A. Thompson of 45 Ames Road, Brockton, as an alternative, alternate to the Brockton License Commission for a three-year term. Uh, refer to finance. <laughs> Item number eight. Appointment of Mary Lynn Peters Chu of 117 Appleby Street, Brockton, Mass. 02302 to the position of city auditor for the city council to fill the unexpired term of Heidi Chuckrin. Refer to finance. Item number nine. Councilor Farwell. Mr. President, uh, regarding items 9 through 17, I would ask that at the conclusion of the public hearings, there are a lot of materials to review, issues of parking. I'd like to ask that all of these be referred to the Public Safety Committee for further review. Second. Uh, we will do that after the hearings. We will, the hearings are posted for this evening, so we will have the hearings. Uh, Madam Clerk, item number 9. Petition of Yuhei Michiko DBA Solid Auto Care Corps for a motor vehicle repair mechanical license located at 967 Montello Street, Unit A through B, Brockton, uh, in City Clerk's Office, June 16th. Fe uh, Fire Department has no objections. Workers' comp on file. All set. Yep. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? If so, please step forward to the rostrum and state your name. My name is Jim Chapman. I live at 952 Montello Street, and I'm here in favor of the licenses, but I would like to petition the council for some restrictions to be placed on those licenses. Um, I just have a short prepared statement that I'd like to make. Um, I'd like to thank the council for inviting me to speak about this issue that concerns our neighborhood. I live at 952 Montello Street across the street from these two buildings in question. My grandparents bought this house in 1944. Five generations of my family have lived there in, in one of the last remaining single-family homes on Montello Street. Right now, I share the house with my dad. He is 81 years old, very ill, and suffers from dementia. I'm taking care of him as he lives out his few remaining years in the house that he grew up in. We have a nice neighborhood, I say with a smile on my face. If you can overlook the homelessness, the drug problems, the prostitution, and occasional gunfights, things are pretty good. Seriously, over the past 72 years, the city of Brockton has been very good to my family. That is why my dad and I would like to say that we are in favor of these licenses being granted. We know that a vibrant small business community is important to the health of our city. But we ask of the licensees, Please be a good neighbor. Remember always that there is a family close by. We are humans like you trying to do the best that we can with the situation that we're in. Please don't stay open late with your loud pneumatic tools going to all hours of the night. When your patrons pull in with their earth-shaking sound systems blaring, remember the old man across the street trying to listen to his Red Sox game. Please ask him to turn it down. We ask the city, please enforce your codes. Now, I, I just learned recently that the city council is not directly enforcing, uh, involved in code enforcement, but I, I do ask that you do whatever you can to bolster the code enforcement capabilities here in Brockton. It goes directly towards citizen safety and citizen quality of life. On Montello Street, from Grove Street to Plain Street, there exists wall-to-wall -wall used car dealerships and repair businesses. On one side of our house is the muffler man at 940 Montello Street, a perfect example of a good business neighbor. He makes sure every snowstorm he has his guy plow our driveway so that we're not stuck there. And a few doors down on the other side at 1000 Montello Street, there is a body shop that has turned its property into an unsightly junkyard. Now I've gone online to click, uh, see, see click fix it, whatever it's called, and reported it many times. I've received callbacks from whoever, I don't remember his name, but nothing has changed in that property in the last two years. It's still a junkyard. 
with rats coming out of the property, I'm afraid they may infest my building. So I say please enforce city Brockton codes to make sure that these businesses operate within the bounds of their licenses. There should be no long-term storage of unregistered automobiles, no selling of cars without proper licenses, no storage of used parts piling up outdoors, no people taking up residences on the premises, which has occurred in these buildings. All of these problems we've encountered in the past and continue to experience. Please enforce the laws that are on the books. We know we are living in a city and must accept all that comes with that. However, that does not mean that we don't have a right to some level of acceptable quality of life. My family has been on this property for nearly three quarters of a century, long before these licensed applicants were even born. We asked them to be good neighbors, and we asked the city to please enforce your ordinances. I hope to get to know each and every one of these business people so that when my father decides, as dementia patients usually do, to take a hike, they will notice him and point him in the right direction back home. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Is there anyone else here in favor? Is Mr. Michiko here? Uh, you want to give me an I assume you're here in favor. Uh, did you state yes. your name for the record, please? Yohani Michiko. Thank you. Uh, any questions for Mr. Michiko? Not until we're here. Thank you. And I assume you're here in, in favor. Yes. All right. Uh, is there anyone else here in favor? Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. <coughs> is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please step forward and give your name to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. In that case, I will be referring this to Public Safety Committee. The hearing is closed. Uh, Madam Clerk, item number 10. Petition of Bernard Joseph, j &B Auto Repair and Frameworks for a Motor Vehicle Repair Mechanical <laughs> License located at 967 Montello Street, Unit CND, Brockton, and City Clerk's Office, June 8, 2016. Hearing assigned for September 26, 2016 at 8 p.m. in City Council, September 26, 2016. Fire Department has no objections. Workers' comp is on file. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Please step forward and give your name to the clerk. My name is Jomel Kulala from JMB Auto Repair. And are you uh, you're here in favor? But you're not the uh, applicant, correct? You are not the applicant, correct? You're oh, not the person applying. We are partner. Me and Bernard, we are partner. Okay. Uh, any questions, counselors? I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear that. The microphone uh, went in and out. Uh, did you say that you're the partner of uh, this Bernard Joseph? Yeah, me and Bernard, we own the company. Oh, so you and he own the... Both, both of us. I'm sorry? Both of us own the company. Okay. And I'm sorry, so Jamal, what? I didn't catch it. What's the last name, sir? O-K-U-N-L-O-L-A. -O -O -L -L -A. Thank you. Uh, is there anyone else here in favor? If so, please step forward. And Mr. Chapman, I'll assume that you'll just... Same comments. Same comments, thank you. I said I'd like a restriction placed on the license as to operating hours. And thank you. Is there anyone else here in favor? Seeing none, I clear that portion of the hearing closed. You can sit down, thank you, Mr. Uh, is there anyone here in opposition? Actually, I'll open the uh, opposition part of the hearing. Is there anyone here in opposition? Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. But I can refer this also to public safety. Okay. Mr. Pre Mr. Clerk? President, just a point of information. Yes. Do we have Corey checks for these different applicants, which is part of the requirement under our ordinance? Uh, the question, Mr. Clerk, is do we have Corey checks for, the, for these applicants? Do we have a Corey check? No. No, we don't. I'm not sure that is part of the uh, the requirement. I think I think I have it here. Uh, it's not part of the requirement. In fact, uh, Council, we would not be privy to those. Uh, well, that part I would understand. 
understand. We can. Uh, I will have the clerk check that before the public safety hearing, but I don't believe it's part of the uh, requirement. Okay. Sure. Okay. It, uh, I have clause eight. Now, this is just as a point of information. I have clause eight, <laughs> which indicates a statement shall be submitted with any application from the Criminal History Systems Board pursuant to the Criminal Offender Record Information Act, setting forth the criminal record, if any, of the applicant. And uh, I would just ask that that be checked. We will check that before the Thank public you. safety meeting. Uh, item number 11. All right. Petition of Ronald Omer, DBA Bernardo, and Ron Otto, Repair for Motor Vehicle Repair Mechanical License, located at 967 Montello Street, Unit E, Brockton, in City Clerk's Office, May 17, 2016. Hearing assigned for September 26, 2016, at 8 p.m. in City Council, September 26, 2016. Fire Department has no objections. Workers' comp is on file. Time having arrived. arrived. I declare the hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Step forward and give your name to the clerk, please. Anyone here in favor? Is uh, Mr. Homer here, if I'm saying it correctly? Yes, my name is Tiwi Situd. I'm here on behalf of Rano Homer. Okay, thank you. Uh, any questions, counselors? I do. Council Good evening, ma'am. You said you're here on behalf of him. Are you his legal counsel, or are you a business partner, or are you a relative? I'm his mother and his business partner. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Uh, is there anyone else here in favor? Mr. Chapman, if you'd just step forward, say your name for the record, and same remark. And same, same remark. Thank you. Anyone else here in favor? Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Now we'll open the ne negative side. Is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please step forward and give your name. Thank you. You're all set. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. We'll refer to public safety. Petition of Roland Okafor, DBA Roland Automotive for a motor vehicle repair mechanical license located at 967 Montello Street, Unit F, Brockton, in City Clerk's Office, June 16, 2016, hearing assigned for September 26, 2016, 8 p.m. In City Council, September 26, 2016, Fire Department has no objections. Workers' comp is on file. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Please step forward and give your name to the clerk. My name is Roland Okafor. Thank you, Mr. Okafor. Uh, is there anyone else here? Uh, any questions, counselors? Is there anyone else here in favor? <laughs> James Chapman, same remarks. Thank you very much, Mr. Chapman. Uh, is there anyone else here in favor? Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Uh, is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please step forward and give your name to the clerk. Uh, seeing none, I declare the hearing closed. Item number, uh, refer to public safety. Okay, petition of Afra Rosa DBA A and J Auto Repair and Diagnostic for a motor vehicle repair mechanical license located at 955 Montello Street, Unit 1, Brockton, in City Clerk's Office, June 6, 2016. Hearing assigned for September 26, 2016 at 8 p.m. In City Council, September 26, 2016. Fire Department has no objections. Workers' comp is on file. I'm having arrived, I declare the hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Please step forward and give your name. Is Mr. Rosa here? Yes, uh, my name is Afro uh, S. Rosa. Thank you, sir. Any questions, counselors? Right here, come Counselor right Stadonsky. Is this a garage, 955 Montello? Uh, yes. And it's located in between which, which streets? Temple Street. To Across Bruce. the street from uh, the Maflamin. Which one? The Maflamin. 940. Across from. Well, 940 is on the even side. That's across the street. Right. You're listed at 955. I can't think of any commercial garage on that side until you get up to past Grove Street. No, it's right by the church on Montello. 
955. And it's a garage? Yes. Who, who's the owner of the garage? The owner is um, Elgar. They own the property. The they have a garage license? Yes. It's like six garage there. Okay. All right. But would you please uh, have, for all the people, could you please have written information for us at the public safety meeting? You'll be summoned into that. We're going to need it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Is there anyone else here in favor? James Chapman, same remarks. Thank you very much, Mr. Chapman. Mm -hmm. Anyone else here in favor? Thank you. Seeing none, we declare that portion of the hearing closed. Now we'll open the hearing. Is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please step forward and give your name to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. This will also be referred to public safety. Petition of Joao de Pina, DBA, Unique Collision for a Motor Vehicle Repair Mechanical License located at 189 Clinton Street, Brockton, in City Clerk's Office, August 2nd, 2016. Hearing assigned for September 26, 2016 at 8 p.m. in City Council, September 26, 2016. Fire Department has no objections. Workers' Comp is on file. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Please step forward and give your name to the clerk. Mr. DePina here. Anyone else here in favor? Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Uh, is there anyone here in opposition? Will you step forward and give your name to the clerk? Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Uh, we'll refer this to public safety uh, counselor. President, if I might, without the owner being here, I think we should continue this to another meeting and have a public meeting on this. This is serious business. Second. Okay. Motion been made and seconded to continue the public hearing to the, hearing the next city council meeting. Is that your motion? Be fine with me, thank you. Motion made and seconded to continue this hearing to the next city council meeting. All those in favor? All those opposed? <coughs> Continued. Uh, yep. Open the next hearing and then continue that also. It's in the same building. We will also continue the uh, item 15, the motor vehicle uh, repair body license at 189 Clinton Street to the next council meeting. Okay. Item number 16. Petition of Sergeant Supply Realty Trust, Donald Shue, trustee for a garage license located <coughs> at 50 Meadowbrook Road, Unit 2, Brockton, in City Clerk's Office, June 21st, 2016. Hearing assigned for September 26, 2016, 8 for 8 p.m. In City Council, September 26, 2016. Fire Department has no objections. Workers' comp is on file. Uh, time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Please step forward to the rostrum and give your name to the clerk. Good evening. My name is Don Gale. I'm a uh, friend of the families and a real estate broker for uh, City of Brockton. And we, uh, I'd like to give you a little background, if I may. Um, the the, the uh, applicant was previously located at 13 Watson Street, which was a heavily residential area. And with the help of Councilman uh, Studinsky, we found a larger and better location for them where there are no um, residences surrounding the property, which is 50 Meadowbrook Road. Used to be Sergeant Supply. We uh, divided it into multiple industrial condominiums. The Perez brothers represent one of the growing businesses in Brockton. They currently employ approximately six individuals. Um, they do pr uh, primarily auto repair. Um, they will intentionally grow the business in the future to other automotive related uh, businesses and there are four family members who were, um, they've been in Brockton for at least 10 years at Watson Street. There were some issues with the residences which myself and Councilman Studinsky worked to resolve the biggest and best solution was to move them into the old Sergeant Supply property, which they've uh, done quite a bit of work on. They currently lease it from an owner named Don Shute. Uh, we've worked with uh, attorney uh, Bill, Bill uh, Sims. He's working with the Rockland Trust Company and the, uh, the city clerk's office. 
Uh, we've worked with the city clerk's office and various other departments within the city of Brockton in order to rectify and remedy some of the existing issues that were present for that property. And we've worked most of them out. We intend to pay off the uh, uh, tax liability for that property. Um, we, we've, again, worked with the city clerk's office, and we, we've done that. We know the amounts. We have every intention of paying it. I have an existing uh, lease with an option of purchase. I have a purchase and sales agreement, which I'll present to uh, Councilman Studinsky for his records. Uh, and that includes a, a unique clause which we worked out with the previous owner uh, to um, uh, pay off the tax liability to the city of Brockton, which is in the amount of a over $60,000 that have been in the arrears for many years, and the Perez brothers, uh, the Perez family, has agreed to pay off that tax liability. They've already invested a substantial amount in improving the property uh, as a tenant, as a lease tenant, and um, um, we expect that within the next couple of weeks, with the help of uh, Councilman Studinsky, um, Attorney Sims, uh, we will um, we will uh, pay off all of those taxes as part of the purchase. The existing owner has agreed to apply any of the uh, purchase property uh, purchase price to the tax liability, which I know is not common. But we wanted to work out in the Perez brothers because they've been a um, a going business here in Brockton and intend to remain here. They all live here. It's about four brothers. Uh, they all live here in the city of Brockton, so they are responsible business owners uh, in their previous property and in their new property. Um, they want to meet any and all of the city's uh, requirements, and they've applied for and received permits from, I believe, all of the uh, uh, departments, including fire, um, um, building, uh, electric, uh, plumbing, and... Uh, um, um, all of which have been very helpful, <coughs> by the way. And I'm looking forward to, a, um, and the family is looking forward to a, uh, an additional 10 or 20 years of, of, um, of presence in the city of Brockton and, and to create more jobs and to be a responsible um, business owner and pay their taxes on time, unlike what has happened in the past by the previous owner. And uh, at that, uh, all the family members are sitting here, um, as is one of their partners, uh, Joe Bernardo. Um, so they're all here to answer any questions the council may have relating to this, uh, this property. And it's again, it's a rebirth of Boston, uh, Brockton, Boston, Brockton, because the sergeant supply, as many of us know, Jerry Kelleher had that property for many, many years, and we all depended on him for for uh, plumbing and all kinds of things that we uh, couldn't get before. And now it's being rebirthed, uh, reborn as a, uh, a local automotive center catering to the, the um, uh, residents of Brockton. Um, so if there's any questions, we're prepared to uh, answer any pre uh, questions the council may have. And we're prepared to do anything that the city requires that we haven't already um, addressed. And there are none that I think of. And we've worked with fire very closely and have been very helpful. It's a fully sprinkled building, which is kind of unique in Brockton. Uh, is there anyone else here in favor? Step forward and give your name to the clerk. All of them are here, and I'd like them they to could uh, come up and state their names. My name is Antonio Powers. Thank you. My name is Jose Paris. Thank you, sir. Joseph Bernardo, people are on at 13 Watson Street. I got the, the gentleman over there, he sees me all the time. So now I'm happy they moving to 13 Watson Street. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Council, is there any questions? Uh, I did. Oh, oh, hold on, there's one more left. Go ahead. Oh, uh, my name is Serge Bernardo. He's one of the senior employees at. Thank you. Councilor Barnes. So uh, the gentleman that just got up with the, the trimming on his shirt. Can you step Could forward, you? sir, again? Yes, please. Thank you. This is Joe Bernardo. 
Joseph Bernadeau, B-E-R-N-A-D-E-A-U. Okay, and your relationship to this is what? No, I was a previous owner at the 13 Watson Street, me and Jose, we was an associate. And he's a long family friend of the Pires family. And he's a, uh, he provides some of the um, towing related to their business. He is the man that does that, and he was the previous owner of 13 Watson Street. Okay, and that's the place where there were problems with the neighbors? There yeah. were. And, okay, and, what and were the problems with those neighbors? What, what happened? Mainly their business grew so much. If you don't mind, sir, could I have him answer? Excuse Thank me? you. So what was the problem at your previous location with the residents he, in the he neighborhood? He wouldn't be aware of that. He was just... I thought you Correct. said that he... The only one of the council was asking him. Yes, I was the owner, but I was a, I know, I'm no go back and forth. I just hear the problem. All the time they, they have a problem, I have to come in to the court and, you know. Okay, and that was my question. What were the problems that you were hearing? Yeah, the neighbor. Uh, the, the car, the there was, pirate. There was a there too, was many, so many, too many customers. Okay. Okay. Too many, too many customers. Yeah. So... They, they were the customer was coming in and pack everywhere. So they have, we have to move. This is why they move the, 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 the business to 50 Mirabu Grove. Okay, oh. as a point of information through the chair, I'm gonna ask Councilor Studensky. If, if I may help, point of information. The, Councilor, okay, thank you. The problem was there were two good mechanics that the business grew and uh, the neighbors we actually had problems getting up and down the street. So uh, when I got the call about the move, it was relief for myself and for the neighbors. Okay. Uh, it's good to have them go to a location where they're trying to go to. So, so they weren't uh, run out? Any, they, any, there was never any criminal problems. Okay. But uh, I'm just, just saying they weren't run out, so they, they saw that there was a problem, and then they actively took a, a, an opportunity to move <coughs> to make sure that the neighborhood remained. Okay. That's, that's what I wanted to Absolutely. kind of find out how that happened. Okay. And um, you, you gentlemen, you, uh, the Pyrus brothers? Yep. Anthony and Jose are the two brothers. Oh, okay. Um, okay, I, I wanted to ask you guys just a few questions. Um, this gentleman here, he, you, yeah, you. I'm he, a real estate broker, as I said at the beginning of the... Okay, sorry, I missed that. S sorry. So uh, your real estate broker mentioned... Friend of the family, yes. Okay, thank you. Mentioned that you all, uh, your business is, you. is geared toward um, the residents of Brockton. Yes. I, I, I guess I'm, that just kind of sparked my interest. What, what, is it small, like cars, cars, or is it um, like industrial vehicles that you guys will be Mr. working Dale. on? Uh, Mr. Dale, if we, Mr. Dale, can you take a step back, please? She's talking to... Okay, you're talking to him? <laughs> yes, yes okay. I am. Thank you. Thank you. Is the business for the car. We started, you know, we started small, but started grow up, grow up, and a lot of people coming back and forth, back and forth, and... We decided to get another place bigger because that one is too small for us. Okay, and it's just to, to be able to house the capacity of cars, not that you're working on, like, you know, 18-wheelers uh, or any of those industrial no, no, trucks. No, like, no, okay. no, it's a regular car. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Counselor. Uh, any other questions? Uh, is there anyone else here in favor? Seeing none, I'm going to declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please step forward. You can both sit down, thank you. Uh, if so, please step forward and give your name to the clerk. Seeing none, that'll clear that portion of the hearing closed. Counselor, did you want to send this to public safety also, or do you want to act on this tonight? Mr. President, they've been in business for a number of years. They're actually moving to another location. I don't think it's a startup. I think they know what we demand and, and want them to, to try to uh, work on it. I think they have the room to work that way now. So it probably doesn't have to go to public safety unless I don't want to overrun Councilor Fowell's uh, suggestion. No, do you already know the restrictions of the hours? Yes. They're going to carry over? Yeah. Okay. Right. So uh, the hearing is closed. Uh, conf well, and the vote will now be on confirmation by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Uh, on the. On the Council roll. Sullivan. Mr. President, I, I just had a quick question. When we take this final vote, um, and maybe it's through you to, to my colleague in Ward 4, there's current steps on this and restrictions on this license? Are there current? Uh, they're right. They're and so they, they, <coughs> this, this is a pretty much. This is the garage license. Right. The stipulations we'll will go on, be the, on next, the next one. On but I just want to make sure if we're taking a final vote that it will carry forward. 
Correct. So the Thank you. motor vehicle license, which is the next one, is where the stipulation Thank you. Be. Uh, Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Hayes Hat. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Zedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. The license is granted. Item number 17. Petition of Pyers Brothers Auto Repair, Inc. for a motor vehicle repair mechanical license located at 50 Meadowbrook Road, Unit 2, Brockton, in City Clerk's Office, June 21st, 2016. Hearing assigned for September 26, 2016 at 8 p.m. in City Council, September 26, 2016. Fire Department has no objections. Workers' comp on file. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. Uh, if there are anyone here in, in favor, please step forward and give your name. I think you can please just read your name, and I assume. I didn't know what the motion was. I didn't. This is on the motor vehicle repair license. There's two different licenses here. One oh, is a garage okay. license, which is just for storage, and one is a motor vehicle repair license. Okay. So if you can just give your name. Uh, Don, Don Gale, real estate broker, Quinn Associates. And if the other people could the give their names brothers. for the record. Antonio Paris. Thank you. Jose Powers. Thank you. Council, is there any questions? I do. Uh, Mr. Dale, where, where is your real estate office? Is it here in the city of Brockton? It's Brock in Brockton, absolutely. What, We've what's been the in address? the city of Brockton for 20 years. What's the address? It is uh, 130 Liberty Street on the corner of Liberty and West Chestnut. And the name of the real estate firm? Quinn Associates. Quinn Associates, okay. Yeah. Thank you. They look like ha townhouse condos, but they're actually. <laughs> yeah, I know where it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Uh, any other questions? Is there anyone else here in favor? Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Uh, Councilor Studensky, any stipulations or? Whatever stipulations are on the present license, the, the, uh, the hours of operation. Uh, you'll have to state those because this would be a new license, so. It's not a transfer. It's not a transfer of a license, so if you could, uh, if you have stipulations, if you could make make those motions. For the public safety. Yeah, it might be better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, why don't we why don't we move this one to public safety, then and we'll get it there and work on it. Okay. We believe uh, this is enough. So we're move this, part this this part of the, this part will go to public safety, so we can you can discuss uh, stipulations and have them ready at the public at the uh, public safety meeting. Uh, so the hearing is closed. The repair license will be uh, sent to the public safety. For all of you, uh, you'll be notified of the public safety meeting. It'll be here with the subcommittee. Uh, the biggest reason is to make sure we have the proper stipulations, and many of the counselors, particularly on the first set, are, those are all in one building. Now, they are condos, but there's one building, which is why the, some of the counselors wanted to take a look at this building and. Uh, and take a look and make sure that we're not uh, opening up a junkyard down on Montello Street. So uh, um, the neighbors will also be notified of the public of the, it will not be a public hearing, of the public safety meeting. Uh, Councilor, you don't know a date yet, do you? I haven't had one set yet, nope. Okay, so you will be notified uh, when that public safety meeting will be. All right, thank you. Thank you. Uh, right. You can mail that out. Yeah. Item number 18. Report of the Ordinance Committee meeting for a uh, meeting of September 12, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Communication that the mayor has appointed Marilyn Peters Chu as temporary city auditor for a period of 60 days. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the fire chief requesting that the Brockton Fire Department be allowed to accept $14,461.29 from Brewster Ambulance Service, Inc. for the purchase of nine computer tablets needed to complete uh, the computer-aided dispatch system within their ambulances. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. 
communication from the Brockton Police Department requesting to expend the fiscal year 2017 Massachusetts Department of Public Health Naloxone grant in the amount of $13,500. Grant funds are to be used by both the police and fire departments to purchase naloxone, otherwise known as Narcan, and supplies related to the administering of this drug, no match required. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the City of Brockton Emergency Management announcing the reacceptance of a grant awarded in the amount of $4,990.26 from fiscal year 2015-16 Hazardous Materials Emergency Preparedness HMEP. This funding will be used to conduct planning and purchase planning equipment for BEMA, no match required. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the City of Brockton Emergency Management Director announcing the reacceptance of a grant award in the amount of $4,764.40 from fiscal year 15 State Homeland Security Program SHSP grant. This fund will be used to purchase mobile communications equipment for BEMA. All goods and services must be procured prior to April 30th, 2017. Accepted and placed on file. From the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the chief of police requesting for authorization to expend grant monies related to Executive Office of Health and Human Services Fiscal Year 17 Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant in the amount of $125,000. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Fire Chief requesting for authorization to change the use of funds from Council Order 211 in fiscal year 2015. This is regarding the purchase of the 911 Next Generation System upgrade for the receiving of 911 calls and information. The amount of the proposed transfer is $90,000. Intended use of the funds is to purchase a replacement of the aging Zetron fire station alerting system for the dispatching of fire and EMS responders from the fire stations and contracted ambulance sites. Accepted and placed on file. From the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Chief of Police requesting the expenditure of grant monies related to the Executive Office of Health and Human Services, Department of Mental Health, Fiscal Year 2017, and Fiscal Year 2018 jail diversion grants in the amount of $90,000. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Okay. Item 41. Yep. That the Chapter 40U of the Mass General Laws be and hereby is accepted by the City of Brockton in accordance with General Laws C40U Section 2 in City Council August 22nd, 2016, referred to Finance Committee on Ordinance. That report is favorable. Questions on passage to a third reading. All those in favor? All those opposed? Motion passes. Item number 42. Ordinance. An ordinance amending revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, Chapter 5.5, and accepting Mass General Laws, Chapter 40U, in its entirety in City Council, August 22, 2016, uh, referred to Ordinance Committee. That report is favorable. Questions on passage to a third reading. All those in favor? All those opposed? Sent to a third reading. Item number 43. An ordinance amending Chapter 27 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be it ordained by the City Council as follows. Chapter 27 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton is hereby amended by amending the zoning district map of the vicinity on the southerly side of Belmont Street. Said proposed change to be from C1 Neighborhood Commercial Zone to C2 General Commercial Zone. Okay, in City Council July 25th. Uh, referred to ordinance and planning. That report is favorable. Questions on passage to a third reading. All those in favor? All those opposed? 
Uh, motion passes to a third reading. Ordin Item 44. Yeah. Ordinance amending Chapter 2 of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 2, Administration, Article 6, Boards, Commissions, uh, Div Division 9, Brockton Commissions on Women's Issues, Section 2-530, Membership and Appointment in City Council, August 22nd, 2016, referred to Committee on Ordinance. That report is favorable. Questions on passage to a third reading. All those in favor? Opposed? Sent to a third reading. Item number 45. An ordinance amending Chapter 2 of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Brockton be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 2, Administration, Article 3, Officers and Employees, Division 2, Employee Classification Plan is hereby amended in City Council April 25th, 2016, referred to Committee on Ordinance in City Council June 27th, and we're sent back to Finance in City Council July 25th. Um, that item was sent back to Ordinance and that report's favorable. Questions on a passage to a third reading. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, it's passed to a third reading. Number 46, please. An ordinance amending Chapter 20 Streets and Sidewalks of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Brockton enacting a complete streets ordinance in City Council July 25th, 2016, referred to Committee on Ordinance. That report is favorable. Question is on passage to a third reading. All those in favor? All those opposed? Sent to a third reading. Item number 47. An ordinance amending Chapter 4 of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Brockton to comply with the Mass Green Communities Act be it ordained by the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 4, Buildings, is hereby amended by adding the following new article, Article 5, Stretch Energy Code, in City Council, July 25, 2016. Uh, referred to Committee on Ordinance. That report is favorable. Qu question is on passage to a third reading. All those in favor? All those opposed? Sent to a third reading. Item number 48. An ordinance amending Appendix Z, Zoning of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Brockton to comply with the Mass Green Communities Act be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 27, Articles 13, Definition Section 27-61, generally is hereby amended in City Council July 25th, 2016. Refer to Committee on Ordinance and Planning. That report is favorable. Questions on passage to a third reading. All those in favor? All those opposed, sent to a third reading. <coughs> Item number 49. An ordinance amending Chapter 27, Article 2, Zones and Zoning Map, and Article 16, Downtown Brockton Smart Growth Overlay District of the Revised Ordinance of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Article 2, Zones and Zoning Map, and City Council March 28th, 2016, referred to Committee on Ordinance and Planning. That report is favorable. Question is on passage to a third reading. All those in favor? All those opposed? Sent to a third reading. Item number 50. An ordinance amending Chapter 27 of the Revised Ordinance of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of Brockton as follows. Chapter 27, Zoning, Section 27-4, Designation of Zones, is hereby amended by deleting the section in its entirety and inserting new section, Section 27-35. 1I4 Salvage Yard Overlay District. Refer to ordinance and planning. Or Item 51. An ordinance amending section 2-146 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, section 2146, Compensation School Committee members elected by ward. Refer to ordinance. And Item 52. An ordinance amending Article 2 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, Article 2 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton is hereby amended by inserting the following new section, Section 2-382, Minimum Qualifications for Director of Personnel. I refer to Ordinance uh, 53. That the new park at the old Ralsco Kitchen site be named Charles H. Tartaglia Park. I refer to Finance, Item 54. Acceptance and expenditure of a donation in the amount of $14,461.29 from Brewster Ambulance Services, Service Inc. to the City of Brockton Fire Department. The Fire Department intends to use these funds to purchase nine Dell tablets. Refer to finance. 
Item 55. Appropriation of $13,500 from the fiscal year 2017 Mass Department of Public Health and Loxone Grant to the City of Brockton Police Department fiscal year 2017 Mass Department of Public Health Naloxone Grant Fund. These funds are to be used by both the police and fire departments to purchase naloxone, otherwise known as Narcan, and supplies related to the administering of this drug, no match required. Refer to finance, item 56. Appropriation of $4,990.26 from fiscal year 2015-16 Hazardous Materials Emergency Preparedness HMAP grant to the City of Brockton Emergency Management Agency Fiscal Year 1516 Hazardous Materials Emergency Preparedness HMAP grant fund. These funds will be used to conduct planning and planning equipment for BEMA, no match required. Refer to finance. Item 57. Appropriation of $4,764.40 from Brockton Emergency Management Fiscal Year 15 State Homeland Security Program SHSP to BMA Fiscal Year 15 State Homeland Security Program SHSP grant fund. This funding will be used to purchase mobile communications equipment for BMA All Goods and Services. For the SHSP grant must be procured prior to April 30th, 2017. No match required. Refer to finance. Item 58. Appropriation of 125000 from fiscal year 17 Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant to City of Brockton Police Department fiscal year 2017 Safe and Successful, Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant Fund. These funds will be used to hire street outreach, case management, behavioral health, tiered employment, and education services for targeted group of youth ages 17 to 24 between July 1st, 2016 and June 30th, 2017. The match for this grant consists of in-kind services only. Refer to finance, item 59. Appropriation of $90,000 from Commonwealth of Mass Executive Office of Health and Human Services, Department of Mental Health Fiscal Year 2017 and 2018 Police-Based Jail Diversion Grant to City of Brockton Police Department Health and Human Service Department of Mental Health Fiscal Year 2017 and 2018 Police-Based Jail Diversion Grant Fund. Refer to finance, item number 60. Transfer of $90,000 from Fire Department Capital Projects Council Order 211 of April 2015 to Fire Department Capital Projects Zetron Fire Station Alerting System. Refer to finance, item 61. Resolve to invite Parking Authority Director Robert Malley along with representatives from Nelson Nygaard to present the findings and conclusions of an extensive parking study done for downtown Brockton. Refer to finance. <clears throat> Councilor Studensky. President, I have a late file that I'd like to make a motion. That second. Uh, motion made and seconded to accept the late file. All those in favor? All those opposed? Uh, accepted. Uh, Madam Clerk, is it in the hands of the clerk? Yes. Madam Clerk, please read the late file. Okay. Communication from the Executive Director of the Parking Authority requesting that the City Council authorize the acceptance and expenditure of $50,000 from the State Department of Housing and Economic Development to pay for a portion of the downtown parking study, which is currently ongoing. Refer to finance. Councilor Rianieri. Thank you, Mr. President. Just a moment of personal Excuse privilege. Me, just a minute. I'm sorry, there's two items on the late file. I'm sorry, oh. Councilor. I'll, I will hold. Was that the communication? Yes. <laughs> oh. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Okay. Uh, appropriation of the award of $50,000 from the State Department of Housing and Economic Development to City of Brockton Parking Authority Housing and Economic Development Grant Fund. That's referred to finance. Yeah. <laughs> right. Is that it? Yep. Councilor Ian Erie. Make an old guy stand twice. <laughs> Mr. President. Excuse me. Our clerk is here on. And he's doing a wonderful job office. this evening, too. <laughs> and he's uh, been he standing really, all night on that bad leg. I'm, so. I'm very proud of him. Very proud of him. Councilor, you're here. I might have a moment of personal privilege. You I might. just want to announce that tomorrow evening I'm going to be holding a ward meeting at the Kennedy School from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. That's tomorrow evening, September 27th. I have two uh, people to be present with me. Gary Leonard is going to be uh, present to talk about issues in uh, Campello Main Street area, and I'll have uh, Officer William Healy with me as well. So that's tomorrow evening, 7 to 8.30 p.m. at the Kennedy School in Ash Street. Thank you. Thank you. Councilor Beauregard. 
Thank you, Mr. President. I, too, want a moment of personal privilege. You may. I have my Ward 5 committee meeting tomorrow, Tuesday, 927, beginning at 630 at the Enterprise Block, the Enzo Flats Gallery, intersection of Montello and uh, Center Street. And we'll have a, a variety of different guests explaining the various services and opportunities uh, that people can uh, benefit from in this city. And they'll get to enjoy a gallery exhibit by uh, one of our residents and a former retired teacher, <coughs> art teacher in, in the community. So I hope everyone comes and checks that out. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor Razak. Thank you, Mr. President. A moment of personal privilege. Uh, I'd also like to announce that we're having a Ward 7 meeting Thursday, October 6th at 7 p.m. at the Raymond Elementary School on Oak Street. Um, everyone is welcome, so I look forward to seeing everybody there. I'd also like to announce that um, Tower Fest is Saturday, October 8th this year at DW Fields Park from 11 to 4 p.m. It's a free event. Um, there's a lot of kids activities, and um, we hope to see everybody there also. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and I was remiss in, uh, if you noticed, it was quiet tonight. Councilor Monaghan did call me before the meeting. He's home ill tonight and wasn't able to make it. Uh, Councilors, just to remind you that uh, the temperatures have turned and so have our schedules. We're back off of summer schedule. We'll be here next Monday night for finance. And uh, the week after, I believe, will be Tuesday night for Council because I believe October 10th is the holiday. But uh, I think we all enjoyed our summer, but we're back to work now. So we'll see you next Monday. Anybody else? We're adjourned. Thank you.